Please welcome our 2016 Rolex Boys Player of the Year from Corinth, Texas, Mr. Noah Goodwin. Well, I'm definitely more nervous in this speech than any opening tee shot I've ever hit. <laughs> and before I start, I would like to say job well done to Patty on an amazing speech and an awesome year. And congratulations to everybody that's playing in this tournament for you have solidified yourself as some of the best junior golfers in the world. It is an honor to be named the 2016 Rolex Junior Player of the Year. When I outlined my goals at the beginning of the year, I listed two. Rolex Junior Player of the Year and being on the United States Junior Ryder Cup team. It was such an honor to make the United States Junior Ryder Cup team and to be able to represent my country on a national level. And to be named Rolex Junior Player of the Year by the HAGA is also such a great honor. There is simply no better golf organization at the national level. I would like to thank a number of individuals. First and foremost, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. To the HAGA, Thank you, Mr. Steve Hamblin, for your leadership and dedication to making the AJGA what it is today. We appreciate your 30 plus years of service. Thank you, Captain Jay Mills of the West team. You helped make Wyndham Cup a week in my life that I'll never forget. It was definitely the most fun I've ever had on a golf course. Go West. Also to all the AJGA staff members, from vice presidents, tournament coordinators, tournament managers, communication managers, interns, and any I may have left out. Thank you for doing what you do to make this the best, junior, the best organization in junior golf. To premier partner Rolex for more than 30 years of support of the AJGA and junior golf, especially the proud tradition of the Rolex Junior All-America teams and the Rolex Junior All-America Awards Banquet. Thank you, Mr. Arno Laborde. To premier partner Ralph L Ralph Lauren, for the Polo Junior Golf Classic and support of the HAGA. Thank you, Mr. Bill Huntington and Kelly Broad. To PGA National for hosting this week since 2009. Thank you, Mr. Josh Sparks. To Mr. Jim Ahern, Mr. Bubba Kroger, Cliff and Evan at Tideless and Footjoy. Thank you for your support over the years. To my golf coach, Cameron McCormick. Works cannot express my appreciation for how much you have helped me. Whether it's a kick in the bud, a late night phone call before an important tournament round, or to receive an uplifting message after a disappointing round, you are largely responsible for shaping me into the golfer I am today. Thank you. And last but not least, thank you Team Goodwin and the inner circle of close friends who sustained me on and off the golf course. To my mom and dad for supporting me on this journey. To my grandparents who provide unconditional love. I could not have made it to this point without you. I'm humbled to be named the 2016 Rolex Junior Player of the Year. It is an honor to have my name added to the long list of previous individuals who have received this award. Although I stand before you tonight as Rolex Junior Player of the Year, please understand that this has not always been easy. Golf can be an incredibly cruel game where good golf shots are not rewarded and bad golf shots end up being good. It has been a long journey filled with more bad times than good in golf there is no place to hide when things are going poorly. It is us, the golfer, the golf ball, and the scorecard that holds us accountable. Unlike some team sports, coaches can pull you for playing poorly or devise a game plan to hide a player's weakness. In golf, there is nowhere to hide. It is simply the greatest game ever played. I fell in love with golf because you did not have to be big to play it. it was, that was an important thing for me because I was really small growing up. What many of you know about me, but some may not, is that I have growth hormone deficiency. In simple terms, it means I do not grow like a normal human being. In technical terms, it means that my pituitary gland, an organ the size of a pea located at the base of the brain, doesn't make enough natural growth hormone for me to grow. As a result, I take a nightly injection to help me with the process. I was first diagnosed with pituitary dwarfism at the age of nine. If you lined 100 kids up against the wall at that time, I would have been the smallest one. I played in my first AJG event as a 12-year-old. It was an AJG qualifier at Diamondback Golf Course in Abilene, Texas. I shot five strokes over par and finished tied for 31st out of 71. But what I remember most about that qualifier was the 15th hole, a par four of 396 yards. 
It was the most challenging hole in the golf course for me. You're probably thinking, what is so challenging about a relatively short par four? Well, it required a tee shot of 187 yards to carry a creek in the fairway. And being a small 12 year old that I was, I wasn't able to do it. I had to take a five iron and lay up to the forward tees and then hit a three wood over the creek and pitch onto the green. I made a good bogey that year. It was a hard earned bogey. The following year, I played in the same qualifier at the same golf course and shot three strokes under par to finish in first. I was bigger, stronger, and a better golfer. I improved by eight shots in a year. On hole 15, that par four, I had a drive over the creek and then had a seven iron for my approach shot. The hole was totally different a year later because I was bigger, stronger, and better. And yet I still made another bogey. Golf can be hard. In the end, the turn of my junior golf career came during a 2014 U.S. Junior Am Carlton Woods Nicholas course in the Woodlands, Texas. I had never played a golf course as hard or in as good of a shape. I was just a little 14-year-old kid, the youngest in the field, and I was way out of my element. I remember my first tee shot of the tournament, the 10th hole, a par four with water down the left and trees on the right. I watched two people in the group in front of me hit it straight into the trees, and for some reason I convinced myself that I wasn't going to hit it over there, and I didn't. Instead, I hit about a 70-yard snap hook into the water. My drive started so far left that I had to drop about 100 yards in front of the tee. The best part, I did it in front of about 40 college coaches. I went on to finish the day at 80 and shot 74 the second day. I finished so far outside the cut it isn't really worth saying. but. I remember the days after those two rounds, and I remember how I felt. I remember telling myself I wasn't going to allow that to ever happen again on a big and important stage. I was going to work and grind and practice so I would be better. From that point on, my motivation was seeing how good I could become. Over the years, I put in countless hours of practice, just like you. I love the grind. I love the opportunity to compete against the best of the best, which the AJGA has allowed me to do. During my journey, I have learned many life lessons, and I have also made memories and friendships that will last forever. As I conclude this speech, I want to share something very important to me that I learned from playing in AJGA tournaments, from playing with current and former members. Golf is something that I do. It is something that we do. But it does not define who I am, and you should not let it define who you are. Golf should never lead to our happiness on and off the golf course. It is a game. It is a sport that we have a passion for. We all have a desire to do our absolute best every time we set a foot on the golf course. And yes, it stings when we have bad days, but it is not the end of the world. At the same time, golf is something we can gain a lot of happiness and joy from when we compete to our standards. We, don't, we all know the feeling when a golf round goes exactly according to plan. We feel pretty unstoppable. You are gonna have good rounds, a few great rounds, and too many disappointing rounds. Why? Because golf is hard. Keep your head up after the disappointing rounds and stay humble after the good and great rounds. Always remember you are playing the greatest game ever played with the best junior golf organization ever created. Best of luck this week. God bless and thank you.